Good morning. Good morning, Kaoru-san. Kaoru-san is here. She's so beautiful as usual. Yeah, she's really clean too. I want to be like her. Kaoru-san is really popular even though she's not the kind who talks a lot. I was looking at Kaoru-san while sitting at my desk. Morning. M morning. Did she notice that I was looking at her? Was I staring at her too much? I greeted her back and quickly took my eyes off her. Beautiful, quiet, and popular. She's really the opposite of me. I'll probably end my high school life without getting close to her as just another classmate for her. And the day came in summer. It's hot. I was walking around the town where my relatives live. I was visiting the relatives and the town they live was quite far from my hometown. I'm melting. I need to get inside a cool room with air conditioner. Hey, you. Me? Someone stopped me, so I turned around, and there was a guy smirking at me. He didn't look like he was raised very well. Hey, I'm kind of in trouble right now. Can you lend me some money? Whoa, he's asking for money? What should I do? Before I could think of something to do to get out of the trouble, the guy grabbed me. <laughs> you don't have any rights to turn me away. Now, just give me some money. This isn't going well. Hey, you. What are you doing? I can't let you do whatever you want in this town. Huh? Kaoru-san? There was Miss Kaoru Takamatsu, the quiet and beautiful girl from school. The guy's face turned pale once he saw her. What's wrong with him? Just take your hands off him. You know what's gonna happen if you don't. You, you are Kaoru the Phoenix, the legendary gang girl. Oh, you know me? Then you know what to do. Fuck off. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. For God's sake. Kaoru san sighed, looking at the guy running away in panic. She looked a little different from what she looks like in school. Hey, you're Miss Kaoru Takamatsu, right? From A High School? Yeah, so what? You kind of look different from what I know. And what was it about the legendary Yang girl then? It's an old story. I'm sober now. So you were acting like a gang before? Yeah, you can't imagine me being one? Yeah, I thought you were a serious girl. I decided to be serious. Did something happen? My mother isn't so healthy, so I want to go to the university and get a good job at a famous company. That way, I can earn a lot and help my mom. I see, that's why you stopped acting like a gang. Yeah, but everyone knows my name and face here. So I decided to go to a school in the neighboring town where no one knows me. I see. That's why no one knows about your past. Yes. You just ruined it though. I was doing great until now. I had to intervene because you were gonna beat up. Haha. <laughs> but you helped me. Thank you so much. You don't have to thank me, but promise me. Don't talk about my past to anyone else. If you do, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. I nodded while she was staring at my face with a scary face. And the holiday was over. Good morning, Rankin. M morning. Karu-san came to me right after she came into the classroom, smiling. I will be with you 24-7 from now on, okay? Huh? W why As I panicked, Karu-san put her mouth near my ear, and she whispered in a voice that only I can hear. Because I need to monitor you. You know what's gonna happen if you talk about my past to someone else, right? Y yes kaoru san really stayed with me all the time since then. Why is kaoru san always with Ren these days? I don't know. Ren's a nerd, and he's the quite opposite of kaoru san So, I wonder why. Everyone at school was puzzled because beautiful and popular kaoru san was with me all the time. Uh, I'm standing out! Because I didn't want to stand out, I started running. Oh, wait! Just leave me alone for a while! I can't! No! Kaoru-san was quite fast and she kept chasing me. Eventually, she cornered me into the courtyard. Sh she's still coming? Whoa! Since I was running while looking at what's coming after me, my feet got tangled and I fell down. Kaoru-san didn't miss the chance and she sat on me. <laughs> Did you think you, the ordinary boy, could beat me? The veteran of the battles? Well, that's true. I respect you for having such a stamina with that speed. <laughs> right? So don't ever think about running away from me again. Okay, okay, I got it, so can you get off me? 
My heart can't keep up if she stays on top of me. I couldn't help but to fantasize about something else. My face was hot. Since then, I decided not to resist Kaoru-san and to spend my time with her. Is this answer correct? Yeah, that's good. Thanks. We even studied together in the library. Rankin, you're really smart. No wonder why you have the top grades. Well, there are people who are smarter than me. But you're the top of this grade, right? Yeah. Hey, you have to teach me from now on. I can guarantee your safety instead. Guarantee? I don't get attacked by strangers so often. But Rankin, you look kind of weak. You're also quiet, so people are gonna pick on you. I'll be here for you. Okay, okay, thanks. I thought a boy shouldn't be protected by a girl, but nonetheless, Kaoru-san was smiling happily. Few days had passed since then. We were studying on the grass in the courtyard because we wanted some change. Oh, the weather is great and I'm getting sleepy. Rankin, let me borrow your knees as a pillow. What? Before I could say anything, Kaoru-san lay down using my knees as a pillow. Hey, Kaoru-san! It's okay, we'll switch afterwards. That's not what I'm saying! But Kaoru-san was already asleep. She looks cute when she's sleeping. But oh no, I can't move if she's sleeping. I gave up and decided to read a book for the rest of the break time. And the bell rang. The lunch break was over. Hmm. Oh, is the lunch break over? Looks like it. Oh no, Rankin, I'm sorry. Kaoru-san quickly got up. I don't mind, but we have to go back to the classroom. Ah, ouch. I tried to stand up, but my legs were numb. Oh, I don't think I can move for a while. Sorry, I was sleeping all this time. But you're so kind, you let me use your knees as a pillow, even though your legs were going numb. N no Since Kaoru-san looked cute blushing, I didn't know what to do again. Kaoru-san sat next to me. Kaoru-san, you're gonna be late for the class. You can go. I'm the one who did this to you, so I'm gonna stay until your legs are well again. Kaoru-san. Kaoru-san rested her head on my shoulder. In the end, we were both late for the afternoon class. Another day. We were sitting in the courtyard again, next to each other. I've been wondering, but Kaoru-san, you really let your guards down when you're with me. You look more put together when you're with everyone else. <laughs> I can be myself when I'm in front of you, Rankin. Why? Because you already know who I was, the gang girl. I don't have to fake myself. True, you like being spoiled, don't you? You're kind of like the youngest child. Well, that's probably because I never had anyone who spoiled me. I was an only child and my mom was a busy single mom. I always wanted to be spoiled by someone, though. I see. If that's the case, I will spoil you as much as you want. Really? Thanks! If you insist, may I? Yeah, what do you want? While I was trying to understand what she wanted, Kaoru-san sat on my knees facing at me. Kaoru-san proceeded to put her arms around my neck, and now I look like I'm holding her like a baby. What? why this Because it makes me calm when I'm close to you. Kaoru-san buried her face into my neck. She kept taking deep breaths, but eventually she was sleeping. Kaoru-san, are you asleep? She didn't reply. She really was asleep. I guess my legs are going numb again. But I didn't want to wake her up either. And by the time the lunch break was over, my legs were all numb again. I'm sorry, but thank you. I felt my heart skip a beat as she smiled gently. She was so cute. Kaoru-san kept acting like that only when she's with me. On another day, Kaoru-san sprained her ankle in PE. I couldn't leave her alone like that, so I decided to drop her off at her house after school. I offered to carry her home, but because she said it would be too embarrassing, I took her things and walked to her home together. We got on a train and arrived at the station at the neighboring town. Apparently, we have to walk another 15 minutes from here. Yo, why is this nerd walking with a beautiful girl like this? Hey you, do you want to hang out with us? You should leave this boring guy alone. When we started walking from station, some guy started to hit on her. Stop it! I pushed the guys back who tried to look into Karu-san's face. The guys instantly changed their expressions. Do you think you can beat us? Let's just take him down. Rankin, leave it to me. 
It's okay. Karu-san, you leave it to me. I gently push Karu-san back. <laughs> the moment the guys threw their fists towards me, I dodged and flung them away. A few seconds later, the guys were on the ground. Uh huh? Franklin, you're strong. I can fight a little, I think. My dad was a karate teacher, so I was practicing with him since I was little. The guys ran away in panic as I explained. I didn't know that you were that strong. Why do you act like you're weak? I didn't intend to, and I didn't have to fight anyone anyways. Then why? If I didn't fight, Karu-san, you were gonna fight instead of me even though you were injured. I can't make you do that. I see. So you didn't need my help when the guy was picking on you. But I was in a trouble, so you did help me. I didn't have to fight for nothing too. You're way skilled than me, and you say like that? Man, now that I know your true strength, I guess you can save me now. Kaharshan looked into my face and smiled. If that's the case, you can spoil me as much as you want. Denkun, treat me like a normal girl. Kaharshan smiled like she was a little embarrassed, and I nodded in response. Thank you for watching till the end. We are looking forward to your comments. I will be encouraged if you put any kind of comment and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye. Get out of the way, bro. This here who just pushed me away by my shoulder is Aoi Kawakita. She's my little sister. I mean, what's your deal? You're always at home. Don't you have any friends? She's been a bit difficult to be around ever since she started high school. She has brightly colored hair, and she's what you would call a popular kid. Maybe even a party rocker. Yep, don't have friends. The one answering here is me, Shinji Kawakita, a nerd. I love staying indoors. We're not living life like a boomer. Why do we have to go out and play? What's wrong with you? Aren't you lonely without any friends? Not at all. I don't want to have to try hard to fit in for people like friends. It's tiring. You have to use your time efficiently. You could even say I'm focusing on SDGs. Shut up! Don't talk all at once like that. She's angrily goes back to her room. She got mad at me for just answering her question. So usually I just ignore my sister that is always coming at me so aggressively. But bro, you're in my way. Sometimes she bumps into me on purpose, even though I'm walking close to the wall of the hallway. You're taking too long, bro. Or she pressures me to get out when I'm doing business in the bathroom. You're in your room again? Get out of there. She even yells at me while I'm locked up in my own room. Why? Why, my brother? If she hates me so much, she could just avoid me altogether, I thought. Why don't you get off your phone and talk to someone for a change? And now she even comes by at school too. Hmm. It is getting a bit out of hand. It's getting quite annoying having her comment on every move I make. Should I talk to her about it? I'm really bad at talking with anyone, but she's just my sister after all. So, Aoi. I knocked on my sister's door. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I've initiated a conversation with my little sister. We used to be pretty close up until elementary school? Or was it junior high? I can't remember. What? Aoi sounds surprised. I don't blame her. I did just come out of the blue to talk to her. Hey, do you have some time to talk? Y yeah Hmm? She sounds kind of excited. That's weird. So, what is it? Hmm? When she opened the door, there was a frown plastered on her face. Did I mishear all that? I really can't tell what she's thinking. Sorry, I have something I want to talk to you about. Sh sure What? So, um, what's up with you these days? I don't like your tone. Huh? Oh, right, my dad. So, sister of mine. Why would you call me that? Well, you're my sister. I mean, yeah, but it's gross. So, what do you want me to call you? Just call me by my name. Kawakita-san? You're Kawakita-san too. We're getting off topic. I'll circle back to what I call you. So, first, can you hear me out? Well, I guess. She looked frustrated, but I continued. Well, it's hard to keep going while she's looking so frustrated, but I press on. Why do you keep bothering me recently? Huh? What are you talking about? I mean, how can I put this? 
You come up to me a lot, like the past few days, and you're not even nice, and I want to know why. It's your misunderstanding. Don't think so highly of yourself. Now, end of conversation. Bang! The door was slammed shut. Some conversation that was. There wasn't even any room for negotiating, but seriously, why does she even bother with me? That thought crossed my mind as I was standing there, dumbfounded. It was then that I heard my sister yelling from behind the door, You won't believe this, Akari. It seems that she started a phone call with a friend. I guess it would be wrong of me to eavesdrop. I was about to walk away when... You won't believe my bro. Hmm? She's talking about me. My conscience hurt a little, but I needed answers. So I guess I'll listen in for a bit. She'd probably snap at me if she found out. But at this point, I'm used to having her yell at me. Stay strong. Yeah, yeah, my nerdy brother. Oof, bad mouth at me already. At this rate, the insults could get even worse. Can my mental state take it? I got in a bit of a fight with him. Hmm, what? She seems a bit upset. That's weird. She was just dissing me, right? If anything, I should be the one that's upset, not her, right? Yeah, and he just come up to me to talk to me for the first time in forever, too. I guess I screwed up. I don't mind that he's nerdy. That's who he is. And I'm more of an extrovert, right? So I get it that we don't really get along, but... I think that we can be closer. Oh, so she doesn't mind that I'm an introvert. But wait, she wants us to be closer? Then why is she always picking fights with me? I had lots of questions, but naturally I can't ask them since I'm only eavesdropping. Yeah, but honestly, I want him to be happy and have fun with me. I return to my room and just stare up at the ceiling. I reply what I always said in my mind, and I said to myself, so, in conclusion, it seems that she's not picking on me because I'm a nerd. What surprised me the most was, my sister wants me to spend time with her as an extrovert. Hmm, that still doesn't explain why she's so angry when she comes to talk to me. I mean, she could just say that to me, as I was thinking that. I see a notification of my phone from my mother. It was to notify me that she's told my sister that we're not biologically related. I remember that my mother had said in the past that she would tell my sister when she turned 17. I mean, I'd never really even thought about us being related or not, and recall the distant memory. Oh, I'd been tough on my sister too. It was around the time that my sister had just started high school. I was acting pretty nasty to my sister too. After starting high school, Aoi had started staying out late. I was warning her, less like a nerd, and more like a big brother. We fought a lot and became distant, so my takeaway here is that I should talk to my sister, not just avoid her like I have been for a while. A day after I have been determined to change how I act around my sister, Hey, you wanna walk to school together? Possibly due to finding out that we're not actually related, her attitude towards me had changed drastically as well. She's super smiley, and she's awfully close physically. It's almost as if though she's a totally different person. Huh? Sure, I was really thrown off. If I just decided that I was not going to just avoid her like I used to, I'm going to try my best to respond to her requests, but... Let's hold hands! Isn't this a bit too close? My sister is smiling from ear to ear. Is this really the same person who I was picking fights with me? It's easier to believe that she's a separate person. Anyway, the power that her smile holds is overwhelming. I can't say no to that. Well, I have no intention of saying no either. And I obediently hold her and think to myself, Hmm, is this okay as brother and sister? <laughs> Your hand is so big. My sister says to me happily, and seeing her like this made me happy too. From that day, our lives have changed drastically. Come on, let's sing together for a change. I tried singing out loud at a karaoke, something I'd never do on my own. Let's dance! I went out to town with all the other party goers and tried dancing till I was sore all over. Let's go out for a barbecue by the beach and camp outdoors after that. And stuff like that. I'm suddenly an outdoorsy kind of guy. I couldn't keep up with the drive and stamina of an extrovert. 
and I was tired out of my mind. I mean, swam a little during the barbecue and I collapsed. It wasn't so bad that I had to be taken to a hospital. I just swam a little, ate a little, and felt a little ill. I didn't even throw up, but I couldn't take any more, and I had to lay down. I was exhausted from acting like an extrovert for so long, so we started out camp a little earlier in the afternoon. I was lying down in the tent, and my sister brought me a cold, wet towel to place on my head. Are you okay? Do you need to see a doctor? She pats my head. I can't help but feel like I'm the one who's supposed to be taking care of her as her older brother. But it was all very relaxing, so I rolled with it. No, I'll be alright if I take it easy for a little while. Okay, then I'll take a nap too. She says as she lays down next to me. She cuddles up to me. All different parts of her touch me. It makes me feel strong, even though she's my sister. Oh, but is it okay if we aren't really related? Is it though? A lot of thoughts go through my head, but I let it all happen. Sorry. I guess I pushed you too hard. No, it's my fault. Sorry, I wasn't really prepared. No, it's my fault. I made you try too hard. I'm sorry. No, I have fun too. I get a bit too excited. Oh, um, I'm glad. She looked relieved and she hugs my arm closer. Um, I questioned whether this was still okay, but I let it slide. I was beyond exhausted and I wanted to sleep, but it wasn't just that. Hey, next time, show me what introverts do for fun. As she said that, I couldn't push my sister away as she was falling asleep. A few days later, I did as I was told, and I showed her some nerdy ways to have fun. Hey, bro. Huh? What's up? I was getting my sister into the mobile game that I was playing. This is hard. Really? I explained it all to you, though. I forgot. She sounded frustrated, so I explained it to her all over again. It's hard. She's mad. She looks so bored with it that she could start just dancing at any moment. Rather, she's stomping her legs all around. Could she not do that with a skirt on? Even though she was complaining, she did eventually get into it. Yes, I did it. She throws her hands up in the air. And uses her whole body to show her happiness. Even while playing online games, an extrovert is still an extrovert. Her reaction is so wild and free. And being nerdy has its perks too. She looks satisfied. Her smile is contagious, and seeing it makes me happy too. 